If you have a replacement, after much drama, you can be sure you get a lot of attention. This is why I was excited to receive the Purito Daily Go-To Sunscreen SPF 50+, plus, PH++++, plus, 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 replacing the Purito Centella Unscented one that caused such a scene at the end of 2020. I bet you have heard enough about that already, but just in case you need a quick recap, Centella Unscented claimed SPF 50+, plus, so at least SPF 60, but was found to only provide around SPF 20 when tested in different labs, which was explained by the filters used. They didn't really add up to more. That caused several Korean sunscreens using the same formula to be withdrawn from the market and of course led to a lot of mistrust. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well-aging. A hybrid sunscreen with chemical and physical filters providing high UVB, UVA protection, lightweight and moisturizing. Now, I don't have any of the old formula left for a side-by-side -side comparison, but from what I remember, the new one feels much more hydrating and less lightweight. It also has no scent and is essential oil and fragrance-free. Sunscreen goes on as last step in your morning routine and in this case can easily replace your moisturizer. It is so rich that only the driest of skins will feel the need for an additional face cream. It can and should, if you are outdoors, be reapplied throughout the day, but I personally don't think that works very well over makeup or feels pleasant. On my combination skin it takes a while to settle and can be felt like a rich face cream basically all day long. The finish is very, very dewy, you could even say it leans towards greasy. Despite that, I never had any issues with pilling. Let's look at the filters. There are four of them, as opposed to the two in the old formula. The main one is Tinozorb S, a great all-rounder. And there is UV Null T150 with great UVB protection, titanium dioxide also with its best protection in the UVB range, and UV Null A+, designed for UVA protection. In total the PPD, which is the protection against UVA rays, remember B for burn and A for aging, is apparently testing at 17. 17 qualifies as pH++++, very high protection, but only just Anything below 16 is pH++++. For comparison, in the EU you need the UVA protection to be at least one third of the SPF, so this would not be considered broad spectrum. SPF 50 plus means at least SPF 60 and a third of that would be 20, not 17. It still is relevant UVA protection, but if for example melasma is your main concern or you are exposed to a lot of sun, you might want more than that. Other noteworthy ingredients are Centella Asiatica extract and the Centelloids, Centella's active components that are added separately and that have calming and soothing properties. I personally will stick to Beauty of Jose and Relief Sun, which is much more cosmetically elegant and offers the same protection, and I would recommend if your skin is normal to oily, you do the same. Dry skins or people living in a cold climate might enjoy the richness of this one though, and it is great for everyone that wants fragrance and essential oil free. If there's anything you would like to add, please do so in the comments below. I will link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen and add links to my Instagram, blog and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon. Bye!